I'm Dave, an information developer of the Internet of Things. Stage 1, getting x Plus onto your Galaxy Watch 6, by sideloading it. I'm now going to show you how to get x Plus from your mobile onto a Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 with Wear Installer 2. This process has changed a little since Google released the March 2023 firmware update and from when I last did my video on installing the TicWatch Pro. After you reset your Samsung Galaxy Watch 6, you'll need to pair your watch with your phone over Wi-Fi, and you'll need to specify a randomized port each time you connect. I would recommend that you connect your watch to a power charger and turn it on, then go to Developer Options on My Watch, and turn on Stay Awake While Charging option. To get your watch into developer's mode swipe down and select the gear icon. Go down to the bottom and select about watch. Go down to software information. Then tap on software version 5 times. If you go back by swiping from the left of your watch twice, you will see the developer option to select it. Now go down to ADB debugging and turn it on. Are you sure? Tap yes. Also, go a little further down to the wireless debugging and turn it on for it to be paired to your watch. We're going to need to pair our watch with our phone to transfer X Drip Plus from mobile to the watch. We only must do this once. The watch will remember the pairing for future sessions. We did not need to do these previous times when we sideload the watch, but now we do. I have already got x Plus to my watch, but I will show you the process again for this tutorial. So now, you will need to select the Pair New Device option. But before you do this, we will need to install Wear Installer 2 from the Google Play Store. If you're using the app for the first time, there are some instructions here about how everything works. The important thing is to enter the IP address of your watch in the box provided here. Now here's the part that has changed and is different from the previous installations. Now we go to the three dots menu at the top and select pair with watch. There's some further explanation here which is worth reading, but let's tap enable and you'll see we're asked for the pairing code and the pairing port, and these are what is currently shown on your watch when you select pair a new device. So, I'm going to enter them in the box given. Just leave a space between the pairing code and the pairing port. And then tap done. I get a message attempting to pair. You will get a message to pair and get successfully paired. This can take a moment. If all went smoothly, go back to the watch, we can see a new entry under paired devices. And that is my Android mobile. Now paired with the watch and appearing there. So now on the backing wear installer 2 I'm on the start screen and you can see an extra box is shown and this is for the randomized port. This port number changes every time you enable wireless debugging on your watch. You can see the port here on your watch, it's 38989. So, this now needs to be entered into the box. And now we can start to get Xdrip Plus over from your mobile onto your watch. This process also needs to be done in two different ways, depending on what you are trying to do. Select Done. In my case, I want to install Xdrip Plus and I also want to install Android APS onto my watch as well. If you have used the Wear Installer before, you'll be familiar with the app. You can select an installed app here or you can tap on Custom APK to go to the Downloads folder. In our setup, 
we need to use the installer app for Xdrip and use the custom APK for the Android APS installation. So select installed apps for Xdrip and scroll down to the bottom to select it. You will now see it's established a connection with my watch. Which is great. And you will be able to tap the install button. Sending the APK file over Wi-Fi from the phone to the watch just takes a few seconds and you will get a message that it's success app installed onto watch. Now we are finished with the first part and Xdrip Plus is now installed onto your watch. You can now tap finish. If you are just going to install Xdrip Plus and not AAPS then you get a reminder to turn off ADB debugging on the watch. Do a long press on your main screen and swipe left to the plus add watch face and select it. Scroll down until you find the Xdrip Plus watch face you would like. And if you do have any problems with what I've just shown you, or if anything goes wrong, the best idea is to restart both the watch and the phone and try again. If you have got your AAPS Wear APK already made and in your download folder, then carry on with this video. If you have not got it ready see my other video on how to generate signed bundle or APK for Wear AAPS watch faces. On YouTube, I will add links in the description. But if you are happy with just using Xtrip Plus watch faces, then turn off ADB debugging to save battery. Like the Xtrip Plus you will also need AAPS Release APP already installed on your mobile phone. Before you install the release underscore wear version, the release underscore APP version has to be the same as the release wear version for this to work you cannot have an older release APP version to a newer release wear version so make sure they are the same version. We will quickly install Android APS now. Go to My Files and Downloads folder or wherever you have put your AAPS Release APP app file. And select Release APP. Select App Full Release .app. Package Installer. Install. More details drop down. Install anyway. Open. Allow all permissions. You are going to need to set a profile and settings for Android APS if you need help on this then try joining the Facebook AAPS users U.K group or the main AAPS users group to learn more. You will need to make a master password for when you do import and export to save your settings. Make sure to keep it in a safe place. Go through the setup wizard. I skip this bit as I will use my import settings for my setup setting to be restored. But if it's your first time then fill the details in and then do a restart. I'm just adding my profile settings here, so I can carry on showing you the rest of the setup process after installing AAPS.
You will not have CGM readings yet until you add settings into Xtrip Plus for them to show up. AEPS can get glucose readings from various sources, but it cannot read directly a CGM on itself. One possible source is Xtrip, which I'm using. Select the CGM Xtrip Plus icon at the bottom of AAPS, if it is showing, if not then go back into Xtrip Plus. Select the hamburger, and go down to settings. Scroll down to the inter-app settings and select it. Turn on broadcast locally and Xtrip web service. Select identify receiver and enter. Info.nightscout.android apps. I will leave this code in the description for you. Once these settings are done, go back and select less command settings, and verify Bluetooth is turned on. Make sure to check out Xtrip Plus recommended settings. It can take 5 to 10 minutes for readings to start showing up in AAPS after changing settings in Xtrip Plus. Please ignore my watch readings as they are at the moment coming from a different mobile to be still giving me readings while I do this video setup. In the next stage, we will be adding AAPS Wear.apk to my watch. Just wait until you get a connection into AAPS. I will just quickly show you my AAPS settings. Where, in AAPS is one place you will be needing to use later in this setup to add or change your watch faces onto your watch. In conf, your settings may need to be different from mine, depending on your setups. In BG source, I selected Xtrip plus BG. I'm not on an Omnipod or pump yet so I have selected virtual pump. And then I will show you the last stage to get the where.app file over onto your watch. On the synchronization options, I have chosen NS Client for my Night Scout setup settings to be added. My Tide Pool settings I have also set up, you will need to set up an account. Then Xtrip Plus options again, these are my settings. I have also turned on the wear option and done these settings for wear watches. Also selected the Samsung Tizen option. And lastly Garmin as I also have a Garmin watch. AAPS can get glucose readings from various sources, but it cannot read directly a CGM on itself. Others are Bioda, or Night Scout or some links that communicate with your CGM. See all options in settings BG source. Stage 3 getting AAPS Wear.app onto your watch with Wear Installer 2. Now we need to go back into the Wear Installer 2 app on your mobile. And add your port number again, to connect to the Galaxy Watch 6. If you have any trouble doing this then start again by turning on wireless debugging and pairing the new device again. This time you will need to select the custom APK to install your AAPS Wear Installer app that you have made by yourself in Android Studio and put it into your download folder. I quickly selected my files to get to the download folder. I'm now going to the Android APS folder where I have put both the Wear app and Release APP. Select the Release Wear folder. Now I'm selecting the Wear full release.app file I made in Android Studio Hedgehog version. Select Continue. Make sure to select any pop-up, normally it says OK, on your watch for permissions. If you miss it, swipe down from your watch. Select Install, and wait for it to install. This takes a little longer than when you do Xtrip Plus. Android APS is now successfully installed onto your Galaxy Watch 6. Click Finished.
Now go and turn off wireless debugging and ADB bugging. Adding tiles to your watch. I'm not going to go into this too much, as I have already given instruction on how to do this process. So see my link for further details adding other AAPS custom watch faces. But I will give you a quick rundown on the process of adding tiles. Go to Samsung Wearable. Select tiles. Now add AAPS, actions, AAPS, quick wizard, and AAPS, temp target. Select manage. This will allow you to rearrange the tiles, or add or delete them. Don't forget to save. Stage 5, adding more custom watch faces. You will first need to make sure you have selected a custom AAPS watch face on your watch. So, you can add custom watch faces later in Android APS where. Long press again on your main screen. Swipe left to go to your watch faces. Scroll down until you find the custom AAPS watch face, it has it written on it. Make sure it is this one, or your custom watch faces will not load. You will now need to go to the Xdrip Plus Night Scout Android APS Docs website to download the custom watch face you would like to have. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and pick the ones you would like. To download, I will just show you one. Copy them. And add them into your backslash internal storage backslash AAPS backslash exports folder on your mobile. Now go back into your Android APS software, and go to where, located at the top. Select Load Watch Face. You will now see the watch faces you have added onto your mobile. Select the one you would like to be using. In my case, closed loop, open mind. I hope this video has helped you get set up easier with a Galaxy Watch 6 or 7 for your Android mobile. If anything you find is incorrect in my video or not fully understand it, please ask in the comments below. I will try to get back to you on this. Please like and subscribe and thank you if you do. Really helps.